Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders. All right, let's see what's in these super awesome trading cards. Ten cards, first series, 100%. Do this with one hand while I hold the camera with the other. This is exciting. <laughs> it's also fairly difficult. Hmm. Well, there's quite a few cards. That's cool. No gum. Let's see, what's, what are these awesome cards? Oh. <laughs> Flea circuses. Those are awesome. Flea circuses are super awesome. They're the tiniest show on earth. They feature teensy troops of trained fleas that can juggle, waltz, play soccer. Pull miniature carts and perform other amazing feats of fancy. Nothing beats seeing a family of fleas on the flying trapeze. Oh, these are Archie McPhee. <laughs> what, else is, what else is super awesome? Fortune telling machines are super awesome. Fortune telling machines are super awesome. They know the secrets of the future. They look like humans, but they're really robot gypsies. For a couple of quarters, you can find out if you should take up a new hobby or if an old acquaintance should become a potential mate. Another super awesome thing, spontaneous human combustion. Oh man, look at that image, jeepers. That's also awesome. It's it's fast. It's hot. It can happen to anyone. One second you're sitting in your chair eating pistachios, and the next you're a pile of ashes. Fedoras are super awesome. They keep your head warm and your eyes shaded. They make you look dapper and debonair. They were worn by mobsters, tough guys, and your grandpa. You can hide a you can hide a squirrel under them. You can hide a squirrel under fedoras, of course. That's always good. <laughs> Plague doctors, super awesome. They all wear black and carry sticks. They cover their faces with long pointy bird masks and red goggles. If you dress up as for as one for Halloween, you'll probably win a gift certificate or something. Moai statues. Oh, these are all the things you can get. These are all the super awesome things. Every one of these is super awesome. Cthulhu is super awesome. It's an evil entity with a face made of tentacles. If you gaze upon it, your face will melt off and you'll enter a world of chaos and pain. If you even think about it, you might go crazy and start speaking in tongues. Break dancing. Egg beaters. All the moves have cool names. If you want to try it for yourself, all you need is a large piece of cardboard, a massive boombox, and an old Sugar Hill Gang cassette tape. Roadside attractions are super awesome. 
Roadside attractions are super awesome. Giant statues, strange museums, haunted mansions, and bizarre buildings, souvenirs, cold beverages, free bathrooms. Get yourself one of these urban walking maps. They're awesome. They, they show you everything. They've got a great map. That gives you the overview map. It gives you a map of Dartmouth in case you take the ferry there or drive there. This is the this is the uh, walking map here. It gives you a suggested route through through the main attractions. There's the public gardens and the universities over wait where is it and the universities up here there's downtown and the harbor down here there's the old burial grounds and that's the library right there That's the floating bridge that I walked on. There's the art gallery. That's the wave that I t took a, a geeky picture under. There's the ferry docks. Oh no, that's the ferry docks there. This is where I'm going today, I think, the historical properties. And I'll also see, I think, I think I'm going to go see the farmer's market, maybe. Yeah. Oh, there's the Citadel. So get yourself one of these maps. Very handy. And it's got the legend here, so it tells you all the attractions and businesses. A suggested walking route. And that, yeah, that's the boardwalk path there. Maybe I should walk the whole boardwalk today, starting at the casino. Here's a shot down the hallway in the old dormitory building that I was staying in in Halifax called the Sheriff Dormitory. You can see it there behind me. Well, Halifax is no, known for Donaires. So I'm going to go to the King of Donaires. Traditional Donaires were introduced to Halifax in the 70s. But, uh, People in Halifax didn't quite have the palate for the traditional ones with the lamb meat and the garlic sauce. So they changed up the recipe. They added sweet, stuff, sweet sauce instead of the garlic. And they added beef, I think. Thinly sliced beef instead of lamb and it was a huge hit here and it spread through Halifax as a popular popular meal so and uh, I think it's officially the food of Halifax uh, they're known for Donaires and I think it might be the official the official food I'm not sure I think people were trying for that status. So I'm gonna head to the King of Donaires and try it out because when in Rome. Ocean Sciences building and back in behind it is the Thomas McCulloch Museum. Aquinas Church. This is a nice area of town. Nice street. All trees. 
trees lining the, the sides of the street. Really nice. I think the cross street I'm looking for with the King of Donaire is just up here. And I found it, the King of Donaire, so I just have to cross the street here and I'm good to go. Got my done air here. Let's see if it's good. I'm sure it is. Ooh. It's got a sweet sauce on it. There's some of the meat hanging out there already. Let's get some of this tin foil off. <laughs> so that's the dumb air me. <laughs> I can see why they like this in Halifax. Eric, Erica wants 13. Yes. 
They're all sauced the same way. It's all sauced with tomatoes, onions, and then the don donair sauce. The sweet yeah. sauce, and that's what you know it is. Donair plate. It's it's French fries, but donair meats and cheese, onions, tomatoes. No, that's no. not on the right. You basically pick a casserole or a donair all fries, but that's the yeah, you want, you, want, you want the brass? That's like the one that's in uh, the You want donair? You want donair? Does everybody like tomatoes and onions? Is there any good chunk? So why don't we do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Like, I'll get that. That's actually good. Okay. So I'm going to get an air over. One, the share will not come out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what I think we should do is why don't we put the donair sauce on the side so people can put what they want on it. And the Sell the, they sell the Donair sauce here too. When I was in there, somebody came in and started talking about how that, how that place is the originator and that the sauce is a Halifax creation uh, with evaporated milk. So I'm going to continue down the street that the uh, King of Donair was on. And it heads down towards the Atlantic Ocean boardwalk again. There's a big fountain over there. It's pretty neat. See? Right there. So I'll keep going <laughs> till I get to you. There's a baseball field here and tennis. 
so I'll keep going until I get to the boardwalk again. I just found a weird shoelace, giant shoelace sculpture. Yeah, shoelaces. Inside the giant shoelace sculpture. I'm gonna bench here so you can put up your foot and tie your shoelace, but uh, I don't have shoelaces. So there's the citadel again, the big hill with the fort on top of it. I'm on the other side of it now. Heading back down to the harbor. 